Hi. As we all know, the guitar is an awesome instrument. The possibilities of sounds that can erupt from a guitar are close to endless. So in this video, number two of the Bet You Can Play This series, videos about technical difficulties, I'm showing six amazing techniques on the basis of six songs to make your guitar sound go to the next level. Why six? Because it's one better than five. And I hope this video will give you some inspiration and new insights for your own playing. If you already master all those techniques, that's great, and please share more awesome songs and techniques in the comment section. So let's start off with number one. Did you know sweeping isn't just for the shredders amongst us? We probably all heard of it, sweep picking. The technique used to make arpeggios sounds like they are on steroids, but you can use them in a far more subtle way. Ever heard sweeps in the blues? Apart from Ingve, well in the song Every Day I've Got the Blues performed by John Mayer on the Where Is the Light DVD, he incorporates this neat little trick in a fast descending lick in C Dorian, played over a C9 chord. Take it away Steve! Don't do that again. <laughs> Number two, two-handed tapping. This crazy sounding technique will sound like there's more than just one guitar player in the room. In this example, we play the guitar a little bit like a piano and we play the chords with our left and right hand, each using two fingers. This technique will sound better if you use some compression to balance every note out nicely. And for this particular example, quite some reverb is used. The song is Midnight by Joe Satriani. that the next technique is best of both worlds, hybrid picking. Since we only use two fingers to hold a pick, the others can play some fingerstyle simultaneously. This technique is used in the song Day and Age by the amazing Julian Lage. <laughs> Slapping. Nope, this is not a bass guitar. But hey, I know guitarists aren't as aggressive as bass players, but sometimes you just gotta release your anger and slap something. Raoul Midon does this beautifully in the song State of Mind. In combination with other techniques like hammer-ons and harmonics, this is a real finger twister. <laughs> If angels could play guitar, it would probably sound a little bit like this. Harp harmonics, called after the instrument the... No, 
the harp. You gently touch the string one octave higher than the note you are fretting and hit it with your thumb, creating an artificial harmonic. Combined with your ring finger, playing regular notes, this sounds just awesome. This is the intro of the song Somewhere Over the Rainbow, performed by Tommy Emanuel. Looping. We all need a looper. You can always count on yourselves, right? So why not play with yourself? Nowadays loopers are more affordable than ever. Also there are apps you can use on your phone or tablet. For this example I'm running Ableton Live on my laptop using the Ableton Push to have some more features under my fingertips. So here's a small loop cover of Magic by Coldplay. So these were the examples. There are seven days in a week, so you can try one each day and still have one day off. Thank you for hanging out with me. And now it's time to pick up that guitar yourself. Okay, bye. <laughs>